Staple Diffusion XL is out and it's crazy. I'll be showing you exactly how you can download, set up and start using this right now completely for free as you can use it inside of Automatic 1111, Stable Diffusion, Flatmatic, as well as a bunch of other desktop GUIs. Use it completely for free on your own hardware. But on top of this, I'll also show you how you can use it now for free on the internet if you don't have a computer or a computer powerful enough. You'll need around 6 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM in order to start generating images with the brand new SDXL model, but assuming you do, that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to set up in the first part of this video. It is absolutely crazy compared to Stable Diffusion 1.5 and 2, especially compared to 2 where that was super highly censored. This is not censored at all. It's actually crazy. Let's get into it. In the description down below, you'll find the announcement page for SDXL, which tells you a bunch of information about it versus other models, some previews, language improvements, improvements on the model itself, as well as more improved fine tuning and advanced control. And finally, this down here, which I would assume includes text. It's crazy. If you don't have access to a computer that's powerful enough to run this, you can test it on Cliptrop by following this link. You'll find it in the description down below. You can generate images here with a short delay and it's completely for free. But of course, they do have a paid tier. On top of this, you can also run it in Google Collab. This you'll find in the description down below. You can open one of these in collab and run it in the cloud. Obviously also paid. To download it for free to run it on our own computer, we'll need to head across to the Hugging Face repository where we can download the base model, Stable Diffusion XL Base 1.0. On this page here, scroll down until you see SDXL Base 1.0 Safe Tensors. Simply download this file by clicking the download icon just to the right of the text and we'll save it. This is around 6 gigs, so it'll take some time to download download. The SDXL offset example is just an example of a lore that you can make that could improve the generation of your models, but you'll have mixed results with this one. You can download it here and I'll show you where to install it as well. Now, arguably the most exciting model that we need to download as part three to this is the Stable Diffusion XL Refiner. This will take a image that we generate and refine it on the image to image tab, allowing it to look a heck of a lot better. And I do mean a lot lot. Simply click download once again next to SDXL Refiner 1.0 Safe Tensors and this takes our downloads up to a total of about 12 gigs. Now navigate across to where your Stable Diffusion is installed, whether it's Automatic 1111 or Vladmantic or something else for that matter. Then head into the Models folder, followed by Stable Diffusion. What we'll do is we'll take both the Refiner and the Base model, these two large files, and we'll move them into the Stable Diffusion Models Stable Diffusion folder here. It'll take some time to copy as these are huge files. You'll also take the example lore that we downloaded, should you want to try it out, and move it into the folder simply titled Laura, also in your Stable Diffusion UI folder, Models. Now that we've moved both of these in, we need to make sure everything's up to date before we go ahead and run it. So click at the very top here, then type in CMD to open a command prompt window in this directory where we have Stable Diffusion installed. Simply type git followed by pull as such, and upon hitting enter, it'll download any updates necessary to the Stable Diffusion UI project and program. Now, something I'd also recommend is in your web UI user bad file, you'll right click and choose edit to open it with notepad. And inside of here, you'll enter hyphen hyphen X formers as such, or alternatively, you could enter some options like this. These should also help boost the speed of generating images, but Xformers is usually better. So I think I'll go with that one. Xformers and API, save it, close it and run it. Now, if Xformers isn't already installed, it'll be downloaded and set up now. And shortly after it'll be launched. So we'll control click the link here and I will be back in Stable Diffusion Web UI. In the extreme top left, just make sure to select SDXL base safe tensors here in order for it to load the brand new SDXL model. Now we can give it a prompt. Now, for some reason, OBS seems to strongly dislike generating images and it'll crash every time that 
I do, but essentially I just fed it a basic prompt that I found on Civit AI, clicked generate after setting width and height to 1024 and setting the base model for SDXL up here, you can see the quantity of the image that came out. Actually, really, really good. Now, where this gets even crazier is that we can send this to image to image in our automatic 11 web UI and on the image to image tab here, select the SDXL refiner, wait for it to load and now scrolling down, making sure it's 1024 and 1024 width and height, change the denoising strength to around 0.25, anything higher and it'll start changing some crazy details, changing it a lot from what it was originally. We'll click generate and wait for it to finish. And there we go. The image that popped out is actually insanely high quality. It's crazy what this thing generated and it's definitely more than a little bit impressive. Putting them side by side and there we go. You can see more of the details between these. Obviously more detail on the hair. The background images have changed quite a bit, but things like that can be fixed up. If you were to use a mask to show exactly what you want to refine on the in painting tab, or of course you lowered the denoising strength a little bit more. Regardless, the quality of this model is outworldly. It's actually really, really super impressive impressive. And the best part is, is that this is completely uncensored. If I change this prompt a little bit, add a spicy word and try to generate it once more, maybe change the sampling method. Not that that really matters. Remembering to change it back to the base model, clicking generate, it gave us exactly what you'd hope for. Running it through the refiner does exactly what you'd hope once again. Yeah, it is pretty much completely uncensored. It will generate some crazy images, so do be warned, but it does seem like it leads a little bit of massaging in order to get them. It's not quite as boom, here's uh, what you asked for, but you get the point. You can still do some crazy things with this. Now, of course, as this is a stable diffusion model, there are people fine tuning it and you can even fine tune it, create lores, etc. One of the more popular Stable Diffusion XL models would probably be Dream Shaper XL 1.0 Alpha. Obviously, they're still working on this as this is brand new, but this is using the brand new SDXL 1.0 base model and the images you can get out of it are quite crazy. Anyways, if you go to Civit AI, which is a great place to find custom models, just keep in mind there is a lot of uh, not so family friendly things there. You you can adjust your filter in the very top right. But anyways, that's really about it for the super quick guide. Hopefully you found some use out of it. And if you have a graphics card powerful enough, this is definitely worth a shot. It can generate things that even Midjourney can't, especially when it comes to uh, passion projects. But anyways, my name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.